Welcome to the screencast for acid-base chemistry. This is a part of the ChemSIMS project supported by the National Science Foundation. In this screencast, you will learn about acids and bases. This simulation was developed by FET Simulations and a link to the simulation can be found at the bottom of your screen or in the description below the video. First, we're going to explore the differences between strong and weak acid solutions. Let's start with the strong acid solution by selecting strong acid from the solution types shown on the right hand side of the simulation. What do you notice about the particles present in the strong acid solution? You should notice the different types of particles as well as the amount of each particle type. In this strong acid solution you can see red hydronium ions and blue A- ions. The A- ions represent the conjugate base of a generic acid. The molecules of water present in the solution are not shown for clarity due to the large amount present in the solution. You can see the molecules of water by clicking Show Solvent on the panel on the right hand side of the simulation. Let's uncheck that box to hide the water molecules. Now, let's select the weak acid solution from the types of solution on the right hand side of the simulation. Once again, pay attention to the particles. Note that some of the particles are neutral molecules, while others are charged ions. Again, the water molecules have been omitted for clarity. You should be able to see the red hydronium ions, blue A- ions, and gray HA molecules. HA is just a common way to represent a generic acid. Take a few moments to answer question one on the worksheet. Feel free to pause the video while you work, or rewind the video to review a small portion of it. Now let's compare the strong and weak acid solutions side by side. Look at the species present in the strong acids shown on the left and the weak acid shown on the right. You may also notice the different chemical equations written below each of the beakers. Take a few moments to answer question two through six on the worksheet. Again, you may pause the video while you work or rewind it to review a small portion of it. For the first part of the screencast, we looked at both strong and weak acid solutions using the molecule view. Now, we're going to look at the strong acid again. This time, we're going to switch to graph view on the simulation by clicking equilibrium concentration under views. The graph view shows a graph with equilibrium concentrations on the y-axis and the particle type present in the solution on the x-axis. From the graph, you should be able to determine the equilibrium concentrations for each species present in the selected solution. Look at what types of particles are present in this strong acid solution and their equilibrium concentrations. You should now be able to answer questions 7 and 8 on your worksheet. You may pause the video or rewind it to review a small portion. We can also view the graph for a weak acid solution by selecting weak acid from the types of solutions. Pay attention to what particle types are present in this solution and what their equilibrium concentrations are. You should now be able to answer question 9 and 10 on the worksheet. Again, feel free to pause the video or rewind it to review a small portion of it. Let's look at the graphs of the strong acid and weak acid solutions side by side. Compare both types of particles present as well as their relative equilibrium concentrations. Based on what you observed using both molecule view and the graph view on the simulation for both strong and weak acid solutions, answer questions 11 and 12 on the worksheet. Again, feel free to pause the video or re rewind it to review it. We are now going to switch back to molecule view for the next portion of this worksheet. This time, we are going to focus on the pH of each solution. First, let's look at the strong acid. Let's see what happens when we insert the pH meter into the solution. Make sure to pay attention to the different species present in the solution, as well as its pH. Now, let's look at the weak acid solution and its pH. Once again, 
Pay attention to the pH meter and the species present in this beaker. Finally, let's select water and look at its pH. We can look at all three of these solutions side by side, the strong acid, the weak acid, and the water. Compare the pH for all three solutions. What do you notice about the concentration of hydronium ions in each solution? Pay attention to how the concentration of hydronium ions affects the pH level for each solution. You should now be able to answer question 13 and 14 on the worksheet. Once you've completed those questions, you can now answer the questions on the rest of the worksheet, but it will require you to access the simulation on your own. Good luck and I hope you learned more about acids and bases.